The first time I saw a Nissan Murano Cabriolet, I had to do a double take while I was driving down the road. Basically, it's a crossover with a chop top. It starts at about $44,000 with the navigation system and um, the basic seating options. And I was really surprised that they'd ever build something like this, uh, considering the fears of rollover from people who ride around in crossovers and SUVs. But if you have one of these, you definitely should consider keeping it, because at this point, they're discontinuing it. Forty-something. You gotta keep it. How's it gonna sell well if they don't even advertise? It? Yeah, well, yeah. you know what? You advertising. Know how long it's been out? How, yeah, uh, about been three out years. Two thousand eleven. Yeah, I know. Two thousand eleven. I didn't know that. I did. I no, but you know out. what you gotta do? You gotta keep it. You have to keep this car. You you gotta keep it. No, one of the other car dealers. Uh, keep it. One of the other car dealers gotta come out with another one. Yeah, they you, got nah, you. They're, they're not making another one of these. You have to keep it. In fact, I never thought they'd make one of these. In the first place, because like people are afraid of rollover. Yeah, no. But uh, nah, you gotta keep this. This this right here is a classic. You gotta keep it. You see that car right there on the lift? My uh, my 300 SRT. Uh -huh. They're not making that no more. Oh, you kidding? So they're not making any SRT versions. That car I bought brand new. I'm gonna keep that car 200,000 miles or more. I had a GMC Acadia. Uh huh. Okay? And I never had a convertible. And some guy flew by me on Merrick with I this. I and you, I saw this car. I saw somebody with this car. I chased him down the road, traded in my shit, and got this. Yeah, I've heard. These these are cool. Anybody who wanted one better buy one. And I don't like driving cars. Uh-huh. I don't like this. Uh-huh. Gotta keep this, boy. This is this right here is an instant classic. So nobody's gonna appreciate this car. Nobody's gonna appreciate this car until you only see one or two of them on the road. But this car, it's like the Magnum. You gotta keep this car. Yeah, they all do that. This is great, man. You got so much room. I love it. The back seat set up like a kid. I have some friends who love Maximus, and if they could have afforded this, they'd love a car like this. Uh oh, we got the Chevys out here. Yeah. Oh, he's got that. That's nice. So you got to you got to show everybody that this is what that is. Yeah, you got when the top is down, it's, it's like sleep. It's not yeah, the oh. same size as the the regular one, the hard top. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's real, you know the tops used to be the same size, like the six, the M6. You know that? Yeah. One of my girls had a uh, she had a 2009 Maximum, and uh, I always liked it more than the Ultima. No, yeah. no, not the Ultima, the um, the Acura oh, TL. Yeah, yeah, see, yeah, yeah. They just, I just upgraded my brakes, oh, so yeah. I got drilled and slide on this. This, no, this cost 500 horsepower. 